Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with Jaspie 16 bucks out of the park baseball mixer. This is also a wax party break. We'll do that randomizer at the end along with any other randomizers. All card ship as well. Uh, it's a two part break. Part two is tomorrow. Our team was recently in San Diego and they actually took this group of boxes down there. But, and I thought we had another set of boxes here, but unfortunately we don't. So, this is part one of this mixer. Part two featuring these four boxes will be tomorrow. But a majority of the, the bulk of the break, including that 2019 Dynasty Baseball, which is really nice, the bulk of the, and the autograph baseballs, the bulk of the break is still here. So just a reminder, this is part one. Part two featuring those boxes will be tomorrow. So I apologize for the slight inconvenience, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll live. All right, now, big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, and congrats to the people who won those spots in that filler. And then there are the teams right here. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 11th and final time after 11. We got Brock down to Travis. Six and a five, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11th and final time. So after 11, we've got the Giants down to the Marlins. The Giants stadium is in the picture of the break. All right, so Brock, you got my rivals, the Giants, Justin with the Brew Crew, Oliver with the White Sox, Craig with the A's, Tim with the Padres, Steve with the Braves, Stephen K, you got my Dodgers, Jack with the Yankees, Mike with the Mets, Tim with the Phillies, Kevin with the Cardinals, Steve with the Tigers, Joe P with the Rockies, Bill with the Pirates, uh, Nancy with the Twins, Charles with the M's, Rick with the Diamondbacks, Matt with the Orioles, Travis with the Halos, Jose with the Cubbies, Bill with the Royals, Wesley with the Red Sox, Nathan with the Reds, Justin with the Astros, Charles with the Rangers, Michael with the Blue Jays, Mike with the Rays, Logan with the Nats, Steve with the Guardians, and Travis M with the Miami Marlins. We're going to sort this list alphabetically by team, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. So there's... Uh, what 12 of the four uh, 12 of the 16 box break the other four boxes will be tomorrow remember the autograph baseballs which are in this case right here we're using our college or uh, no checklist rules so that's in the frequently asked questions i think most of you know what those rules are basically it'll go to the team that they played for the longest if they're retired or the team they're currently on if they're active so um, and we'll play a little bit of who am i at the end as well one of america's favorite game so Trade window open. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. No trades. Not, not even a little bit of a whisper of a trade. So that list right here remains the same. Again, remember, this is part one of the video, so you're only going to see uh, 12 boxes here. The other four will be tomorrow. Or as soon as we get those. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow. All right, so thank you, everybody. And obviously... It will be the same list for tomorrow as well. So we do have 1920 Clearly Authentic, 2020 Bowman Chrome HTA, Inception Tier 1, and 2019 Dynasty. We'll close out with the autograph baseball. So once again, the only box we're missing are 2017 Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition, 2021 Clearly Authentic, 2017 Bowman High Tech, and 2021 Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition. So the, those four boxes we'll do as soon as we get them tomorrow or probably tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. All right. 2019 Clearly Authentic is Corbin Burns. It's pretty solid. Also, it's a wax party break. We'll do that randomizer later. 20 out of 25. I like that acetate look. That looks really cool. 
I'm a fan of the Clearly Authentic. That'll go to Justin Bishop and the Brew Crew. Let's advance one year ahead to 2020. That's rookie Corbin Burns, too. And we have Cleveland. This is for you. Bobby Bradley, 19 out of 75 rookie autograph. That's for Steve Birch in Cleveland. So 2021, we'll find it out tomorrow. Bowman Chrome, HTA. So that's just three autographs per box. That's it, just three. And I, since I don't think anything's sold out after this, so we can definitely play some rounds of Who Am I here as well. So get your thinking caps on. First one out of the gate, Bowman first, Nick Cayley, or Kale, or Kali. Brewers, that's for Justin and the Brew Crew. That's a Bowman first autograph. Second auto is Levi Kelly. That is for Rick and the Snakes, the Diamondbacks. That is a uh, eighth round pick. All right, and back here is Andres Munoz, 291 out of 499, rookie refractor autograph for the Friars. That'll be for Tim and the San Diego Padres. Some of the Jaspi team were recently in that area at a card show. Thanks to everybody who joined our breaks while we were there. And, and some of you, I think, did come by to say hi. So thanks for that, too. I guess he, I guess he heard you talking about that the other week, Rex. And he's like, I'll order it. We got a couple autographs right down there. I do like that look of Inception. You know, nice sort of nice background there, good colors. Someone was saying Nolan Gorman was doing well. That he should be coming up soon, or should be coming up soon. He plays way out of Triple or Double A, wherever he is. There is Jeremy Pena to fifty. That will be for. Um, that's the Astros. That'll be for Justin. All right, we got Patrick Bailey, and we got Edward Cabrera. Yeah, Oliver like Gorman is killing it. We've got Shalen Polanco, 10 out of 25. Is another one of those uh, up-and-coming youngsters for the Pirates. That'll be for the Buckos. That'll be for Bill and the Pirates. Arr. Yarr. And back here is Tanner Burns, 133 out of 600. Cleveland, this is for you, Steve Birch. With that one. All right. The box got away from me there. Tier one baseball, 2021 tier one baseball. This blank card right here. I think that fatter one is usually just the relic, so there should be two autos in the relic. Here's Bryce Harper, 356 out of 399. I think he hit a homer earlier today. That'll be for Tim and the Fight and Fills. First autograph is Anthony Rendon for the Halos, 21 out of uh, 125. That is Travis M with the Angels. And the other autograph is Edward Olivares, 191 out of 300 rookie autograph for the Royals. Bill with the Royals.
All right. 2019 Dynasty. Uh, if I knew the Dynasty theme song, I would sing it. But I don't. Remember Dynasty? The TV show? I think there was a show called Dynasty, right? No? All right. Good luck, everybody. 2019 Dynasty. Potential for a, uh, a real monster here. One out of ten. It's Andrew Benintendi, Red Sox edition. I've got Andrew Benintendi on my fantasy baseball team. And he's doing really well, actually. He's hitting the ball real well. That is for, uh, this, still, this is Red Sox edition going to Wesley and the Boston Red Sox. There you go. Nice three-color patch. And on Oliver remembers Dynasty. I don't. I, I just know that there was a show called Dynasty. I don't, thought, I don't know anything about it. All right. Now let's move on to the Leaf Autograph Baseball 2022 Autograph Baseball Edition. Six boxes per case. Well, oh, sorry. Let's see what we got here. They should all be in individual little baseball boxes, right? Yeah, they are. So I have no idea what the potential is in here, but according to Leaf, according to Leaf, look for autographs and baseballs of Hall of Famers, stars, and top prospects. Well, my, my elbow thought there was a big hit coming up, Greg. Let's see if my elbow's right. Okay, th thankfully, they put the name on the baseball right here. All right, who am I? I am a retired baseball player, first baseman DH, 53 years old from Columbus, Georgia, born in Columbus, Georgia, a righty. Uh, lifetime 301 batting average, 2,468 hits, 521 home runs, and a little over 1,700 runs batted in. Five-time All-Star, two-time AL MVP, four-time Silver Slugger, a 1997 AL batting champion winner, a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer, 83.7% of the vote. And trust me, she'll like it too. Who am I? Tommy almost has 600, doesn't he? Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, Michael got it. Oliver's got it. Rex got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's got it. Because trust me, she'll like it too. Text Frank, text Leaf, try a bottle. So you got the, the Beckett card inside. You should have Frank Thomas's familiar autograph right here, yeah. So obviously, I guess the only time I would ever go by, if like, let's say, let's say that stamp was like a Toronto Blue Jays stamp, then it would go to the Blue Jays, but obviously we'll go by our no checklist rules right here. So Oliver. Finally got one of these. Yeah, it's easy. Text Leaf. Try a bottle. And trust me, she'll like it too. I don't know if they're going to send this actual box, Oliver, but... There you go. Well, actually, you're picking this up, so... Maybe, it'll, maybe it will stay in this box. Where my my blue painters tape one. It always gets stolen from me. All right. 
Next player. Who am I? I am an active baseball player. Um, through April 15th, 2022, according to Wikipedia, um, 252 batting average, two home runs, and 12 runs batted in. I attended Buford High School in Buford, Georgia. Uh, in high school, I had a 556 on base percentage and 859 slugging in my junior year. It's pretty good. But pitched around by opposing teams in my senior year, decreasing performance. Um, I was selected by the Rays in 2015, but did not sign. I was signed in the 27th round. Then I went to Georgia, Georgia Tech, I'm, I'm assuming, the Georgia Institute of Technology to play college baseball for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and majored in business administration. After my freshman year, played collegiate ball in the Wareherd Gateman of the Cape Cod Baseball League, where I was named League All-Star was named the uh, Johnny Bench Award watch list in my sophomore year, but missed the last 11 games with the sophomore season because of a broken finger. Following my sophomore year, I went to play for the U.S. National Collegiate Baseball Team and then returned to play with the Harwich Mariners and played a lot of baseball. Had a 359 batting average in the Atlantic Coast Conference in the ACC, 632 slugging, second highest in the ACC, 471 on base percentage, third highest in the conference, Wow. Named Golden Spikes, named to the Golden Spikes Award watch list, and was named ACC's uh, Baseball Player of the Year, and I also finally won the Johnny Bench Award in my junior year. And then in the 2018 MLB draft, the Giants selected me with the second overall pick, and I a seven million dollar signing bonus, largest signing bonus ever for a position player. Kevin M got it early. There you go, Joey Bart. So that'll be for Brock and the Giants. There's his autograph right here. And you've got all the, uh, should be the Beckett sticker right back there. Beckett card inside. And so that is once again for Brock and the San Francisco Baseball Giants, my rivals. From the uh, May 1st mixer. What gave it away, Kevin? You, you got that kind of early. And I'm still giving away like high school stats. And these are all according to Wikipedia. I'm just using information based on Wikipedia. You know, so take that for what it's worth. Johnny Bench Award, right. I didn't realize he was drafted by the Rays. But 27th round, I guess going to college was a good call. Because <laughs> after college, he got a $7 million bonus. All right. All right, who am I? I'm a retired baseball player. Batted right, throws right, finished with a lifetime 302 batting average, 1,500 hits, 158 home runs, and 729 runs batted in. Uh, Seven-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, an NL MVP in 2012, an NL Rookie of the Year in 2010, Gold Glove Award winner. I'm surprised he only won one Gold Glove Award. I thought his glove was pretty decent. I guess there's other, other good good players in the league. Five-time Silver Slugger Award winner, two-time Wilson Defensive Player of the Year. Wilson's giving him some love. Two-time field, Fielding Bible Award winner, NL Hank Aaron Award winner, two-time NL Comeback Player of the Year. There's a rule named after him. An NL Batting Champion in 2012. An AL MLB Second Team in 2021. Golden Spikes Award winner back in the day. A Dick Hauser Trophy Award winner. And a gold medalist in the World Baseball Classic in 2017. Yep, Greg's got it. Another Giants catcher, Buster Posey. First ballot Hall of Famer? There he is. 
hard, even though he's my rival, hard to dislike Buster Posey, even as a Dodgers fan. He was a pretty, pretty class act. There's the Beckett sticker right there. Oliver says yes, first ballot Hall of Famer. So another giant for Brock. Giants fans hoping that if if Joey Bart's half of Buster Posey, that would be that would be an accomplishment. Another one for Brock. All right, a few more. Keep your thinking caps on. Play America's favorite game, Who Am I? A game that I invented. No one else plays this game. All right, we got an active player here, an active player. Uh, a right-handed pitcher. And through the end of April, got 42 wins in my career, 19 losses, a 325 earned run average, and 662 strikeouts. A two-time All-Star, an AL Cy Young Award winner because I won the pitching triple crown. AL wins leader, AL ERA leader, and AL strikeout leader. Did I go to... After high school, when I went to high school in Laguna Hills High School here in Southern California, Laguna Hills, California, and then I was recruited to pay, play college baseball uh, at the univer at UC Santa Barbara as a walk-on and did not receive much attention. I didn't know I went to UC Santa Barbara. I, I didn't know. As Joe, I didn't know. Uh, as a senior in 2013, he pitched to an 8-4 and four record with a 140 ERA. After graduating, after graduating, he enrolled at Santa Barbara. He played for the UC Santa Barbara. Or after graduating high school, played for blah 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 blah. Played played some West Coast League baseball, collegiate summer ball, Cape Cod League, blah blah. blah and then drafted by this team in the fourth round of the 2016 MLB draft. Hmm. Is that the best pitcher that came out of UC Santa Barbara? Oh, so. Uh, yeah, Oliver and Kevin's got it. Shane Bieber. There it is. Nice Shane Bieber autograph for the tribe, for the Guardian, Steve Birch. There's the uh, Beckett sticker right there. Beckett card on the inside. Yeah, he won the trip, the, the pitching triple crown, Greg, in 2020, a Cy Young Award winning year. Mike, you have the Mets. I think you only got one one spot, right? Next player, retired player this time. All right, right-handed uh, outfielder, currently 67 years old, a career 279 batting average, 2,774 hits, 438 home runs, 1,591 runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. So we're going to have to see which team he played for the longest. I think it's, it's going to come down to one or two teams, I think. No, oh, no, it's actually very clearly that team, the team that drafted me. Eight-time All-Star, an NL MVP, an NL uh, Rookie of the Year, 
eight-time Gold Glove Award winner, four-time Silver Slugger Award winner, an NL home run leader in the late 80s, as well as an RBI leader, um, and part of two teams is uh, their Hall of Fame. Ninth ballot Hall of Famer in 2010 with 77.9% of the vote. I thought he'd be a little bit earlier than that. Maybe not quite first ballot, but ninth ballot, a little, little late, but not Kevin. Nice, what gave it away? It's the Hawk, Andre Dawson. Awesome Dawson. What year is it? Remember when, uh, remember when uh, was it Carrie Wood in the State Farm commercial who found Andre Dawson in the Ivy at Wrigley? He has one of the nicest autographs in the hobby. There you go, boom. So there's the MLB sticker right here. And the authentication card right over here. Nice, now he played, um, he played 11 seasons with the Montreal Expos to just six seasons with the Cubbies. So he played for Montreal uh, much longer. So that goes to, Montreal stuff goes to the Nationals, that'll go to Logan and the Nats. And then he, he logged in a couple seasons with the Red Sox towards the end of his career. Last two uh, years of his career were with the Marlins, actually, from 95 to 96. All right. There you go, Logan. All right, final box coming up. Good luck, everybody. Last one, active player. All right, active player, um, outfielder, righty, bats right, throws right, only 24 years old. Um, in my uh, early career, I haven't played for very long, maybe three seasons or so, maybe a little bit less than that if you count injuries. Uh, lifetime 281 batting average, I already have 105 home runs, 247 runs batted in, 80 stolen bases, already a two-time All-Star, an NL Rookie of the Year, a two-time Silver Slugger, an NL Stolen Base Leader, and part of the 30-30 club already. I'm pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, but got uh, pretty much, uh, I think lost pretty much half of 2021 due to an ACL injury, and he was just activated on April 27th. There you go, Kevin. Not Soto, but yes, Acuna Jr. Good to see him back in action. What a player. And that goes to Steve, Steve M., and the Bravos. Spot. This is double boxed here. We got the JSA card over here. I think that's how Ronald Acuna's autograph goes this way. Right? Not this way. No, this definitely this way. That's the R right there. There's the. Uh, there's that hologram card right there. The JSA sticker right over here. Nice one, Steve M. With that one, nice break, uh, or nice ball for you. And a nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, this was just part one of the video. Uh, we were missing four boxes. The, uh, once again, that was the uh, 2017 Archive, 2021 Clearly, 2017 Bowman Tech, 
2021 Archive Six Series Active Player Edition. We're gonna do those uh, those four boxes as soon as they arrive to our shop from the show in San Diego that we're at. I'm pretty sure it'll be tomorrow on Tuesday, or check that on Monday, today is Sunday, on Monday. So we'll link that second part of the video in the, in the uh, video to this break as well. So we'll see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, and I will see you for uh, part two sometime this week, hopefully tomorrow, jazbeescasebreaks.com. But, oh, wax party. We can do the wax party right now. How about that? We won't make you wait for that. So let's flip back to the list. Looks like we have one wax party spot being given away. So let's gather everybody's names. Rick, down to Logan, and everyone in between. New dice, new list. And let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a two, six times. Four and a two, six times. There's the list right here. And just one winner. Name on top after six. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six. Oof, Bill. Very close, no cigar, but I appreciate you giving this a shot. Thanks everybody for giving this a shot. But there can be only one after six times. And the name on top is Charles. I don't think I called your number all break, but you are in the wax party and you've, now you've got a shot at winning a case of NT basketball. You're gonna win something, you're gonna get something, but now you've got a shot at that. Details on jazbeescasebreaks.com, check it out. And we are also running out of those spots too. I think we've got a handful of spots tied up in NT. Then maybe we might only have three or four spots left after that. So um, once again, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This was part one. Join us next time for part two uh, on Monday. Jazbeescasebreaks.com, bye-bye.